<clears throat> okay, so this is Dyna Gear. It's a extremely obscure but extremely awesome um, platformer action game on uh, obviously arcade. Uh, I'm going to be playing for score, just a heads up. I'm going to be playing for score, and I'm going to be getting as many secrets as possible because this game's filled with secrets and Easter eggs, which are quite strong. So, yeah. So, here we got Roger and Wolf. Roger has the most amazing run animation in any game ever. Uh, but I'm going to be playing Wolf because Roger is a much harder 1cc. And I might as well play it safe. And people keep going on about how they prefer Wolf in this game. They're wrong because Roger's amazing, but Wolf. Anyway, two starships slip back in time from the year not to uh, whatever. Anyway, it's about these Gustav, bad guy, and Roger on his ship. They're chasing each other in space. They shoot each other down, and of course they crash land on a. Uh, a planet filled with dinosaurs and a race of intelligent bulls. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Um, <laughs> so here, Roger meets up with Wolf after he crash lands, and they have to go on a journey to stop Gustav, who's making, he's making evil dinosaurs. <laughs> Okay, so here we go, we got the sword, and we're in a jungle. <clears throat> so straight up, you can see it's very fast paced, big, really great looking sprites, just wrecking dinosaurs for the most part. Um, here we got a hammer. None of these weapons are particularly good, I'll be getting the best weapon pretty soon. So here we've got Mortal Kombat coins that you collect as the coins, uh, as the collectibles to get score and extra life. Except they're not quite Mortal Kombat coins, they're, uh, instead of the Mortal Kombat dragon, they've got a dinosaur emblem design on it. Slightly altered. Um, obviously, Scarab, paying, paying respect to, to, to the kings. <laughs> So here I've got Axe. Axe is the best weapon in the game, you just want to keep Axe. Get some bananas. There, we don't want to So first mid-boss. Easy enough. We drop some coins. We don't want that. So you want to get as many coins as possible. They give you points. But also, in the bottom, you can see I've got 26 out of 200 coins. When you get the 200, you get an extra life, and then the amount you need goes up to 300. And so on and so forth. You can actually get a bunch of extra lives. Um. <coughs> oh, wait a sec. The game volume is too high. Okay, let's see if that's better. Anyway. Here we get the axe, wait for the bow to disappear. <clears throat> now we get this big coin, 5,000. And the first boss. We just have to jump over like that. Get his stuff. Also, when you co collect an excess weapon, you can see on the left there's auto shot. That means you can just hold down the button for shot instead of mashing. But you don't, it runs out. <clears throat> so. Here we have the first Wolf Village. The Wolf Village is a pretty amazing. I've had it with fighting. Yes, this game has almost an action RPG element to it with these towns. If you want to call it that. Um, we'll go up here for the first easter egg of the game. Kinya Aoyama Presents. So that's a shout out to Kinya Aoyama who apparently was a UPL guy. Take revenge on my enemy. This, the game staff of this game is pretty much all old UPL dudes, which was an obscure company, but some people may know them. And they, they formed Scarab and made this game. Shoot me in the back! Okay, we'll shoot this guy in the back, and he drops coins. And there's a melon hidden up here. 
This dinosaur is our friend. <laughs> Alright, that dinosaur is our friend. Um. <clears throat> so here, we've got a secret straight up. At the back here, you shoot there. Get a whole bunch of not Mortal Kombat coins. Take him away. So, take him away, in other words, just... You're like, now, allied, or like, this dude's joined my party. It happens a fair bit throughout the game. So this dinosaur's helping me. So, destroy the big plants, destroy the... Oh, go here, damn it. Um... Okay, go right there. So there's two routes here, we want to go up here. With that. If you go the bottom route, there's actually an enemy which is nowhere else in the game except down there, but up here you get more coins, and we're playing for score, so... Just to make sure you dodge your high or low for these guys, those coins... Alright, Cherry, our health is back to max, just four, and wait for these to disappear. And now, an amazing mini boss. Okay. So there's a roll command if you do down and jump, it rolls like that. And in this game, if you move for a while, like you start off walking when you move, but if you move for like more than a couple of seconds, it automatically goes into a run. But if you do the roll, you automatically are in run out of the roll. So it's a pretty good bit, like mechanic there. Get used to the whole running and rolling. Makes the game a lot easier for once you see. Okay, now we go up here. Sorry, there's nothing in the box. <laughs> That's the only chest in the game that there's nothing in it and it gives you that message. So now let's destroy this dinosaur. Bad spawn location on that coin so we can get the gold one. Okay. I'm not jumping on the uh, mushrooms there because they're like, they're super trolly. If you go into the mushroom it bounces you up into the, into the heads of the dinosaurs there. The spaceship has crashed. Could that be Gustav's spaceship? Let's see. So there's an easter egg, Tori. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Tori in Japanese just means uh, bird. So, quality easter eggs in this game. And there's a secret there. Get this. Have to be careful not to bounce into that mushroom, otherwise you get bounced into enemies. And here's an amazing enemy in the game, which just walks in front of you and then just does that. That's all it does. <laughs> so yeah. Down. Don't want to get the mushroom. And here we go, another amazing enemy that just sits there and does that. This game's amazing. <laughs> I got my auto shot back again. Thanks for helping me. Let me repay you. And he drops a big chunk of dinosaur. Yeah, these freaking dragon thingos are quite annoying. It's very hard to kill them. Gustav isn't here, that's his spaceship. So. Oh, but. There's Gustav. You die. And then a dinosaur just appears and hits him out of the screen. <laughs> so this guy got a strange pattern. Like, you keep hitting him and he keeps doing that, but sometimes he just charges forward, so you have to be on the lookout. Also, when you mash enough with any weapon, it does kind of like this Mega Crush thing. That's the the like, whole wave of axes that come out in a spiral around me. Which can help if there's lots of little enemies around. Oh, I got bad spawn on the giant coins, so I missed out 5,000. <laughs> so, area 2 clear. 
no town intermission this time, right right into the next stage. Don't worry, there's more towns coming. So here there's multiple paths, I go the top route for most coins. Okay, now we're going to go like this. We don't want the hammer and it's too risky to jump over, so we're just going to go those coins. So here we get boulders from behind that we have to quickly shoot while dodging the dragons. Weapons we don't want. This duck animation. Yeah. So, boulders. Oh, almost got hit. You can only have two axes on the screen at once. That's why I was trying to shoot up, but I already had all the axes out. Way down here. Take him away! <laughs> so now the dinosaur, which they previously told us was our friend, is now with us. This is cool. So the, the dinosaurs kind of just tank damage. If they're in front of you, they'll just absorb all this damage, they'll destroy enemies. But all the friends, the allies, do die eventually. Oh! Here's a mid boss. You want to jump over him when you're rolling with the double jump. There's a double jump in case didn't realize, people didn't realize like that. When during the second double jump, you you can bounce on enemies and you don't take damage during the double jump, I should say. So yeah, the game's just like really fun. Like it's it's really charismatic. Just how like the design of like all the characters, the artwork, and everything. And it's just really fun, just like it's so satisfying just destroying destroying stuff in this game. And getting Mortal Kombat coins. So here we have to watch out here. Oh! I forgot about that. Okay. So we want to get rid of that. We don't want the sword. And now here's a Easter egg. Another easter egg, like the third one I think. So that's a monk from Survival Arts. That's a Mortal Kombat-esque game that Scarab developed just before this game, or during the development of this game. And he's in this game for some reason. <laughs> in the wall. Digitized character in an otherwise hand-drawn game. Here we have dinosaur demon version of Ryu. He tries to Shoryuken. You have to bait it. Oh, I got hit. You bait out the Shoryukens. Right. Now we can kill, kill that dinosaur. Get all this. Two axes here. Bonus points, and here's the boss. No boss music for this boss. <laughs> Spider. Big red dinosaur, he jumps to the other side and does the same thing. Oh yeah, I guess it is a Sagat Tiger up a couple more than a Shoryuken. So when this guy's low on health, he'll get mad and really speed up his patterns. Here we go. This is one bit where if you're playing as Roger, it's really hard not to take damage because he jumps so... This jump is just hard. Get that giant... Mortal Kombat coin. Okay. Yeah, the auto shot bar is, um... When you, when you hold the button down, it's auto shot. It appears when you get an excess weapon of... It's amazing. It appears when you get an excess weapon of a weapon you already have. So here I have to mash, but if I pick up another axe, I'll have about 30 seconds of auto. Um, shoot me in the back again! Well, we don't want to shoot him in the back yet, we want to get that secret up there, one coin. Okay, got that. Kill Gustav. Alright, try. So here's a secret up here. Three big MK dinosaur coins. Two hammers we don't want. 
the game calls them hammers. Here's another easter egg. Cued you. <laughs> oh, Alright, here we go, the Aztec ruins. Labyrinth. First, you have to fight these robots that drop 5,000 coins. Also, I actually got my 200 coin initial extend, so you can see at the bottom my next extends at 300 coins now. Okay, trap. Oh! What's that coin? Alright, need a... So you want to go across the top here, instead of going down across the bottom. If you go across the top, shoot these. Now we have all these coins. That one. Yeah. Okay, now time for one of the biggest secrets in the game in terms of score. Yep. It's about a hundred or eighty or so coins or something. Okay, this is one of the hardest fights in the game because it's random where they fall down and they can just troll them. Oh! None of them have landed on me yet. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, bow. Now, because I'm Wolf, Wolf also has a smaller hitbox than Roger, so he can do this. He can hide in the corner and this boss can't hit him, and this is also an extremely tricky boss because you can never quite predict how he's going to go. But because Wolf's hitbox is so small and weird when he ducks, you can just do that, which Roger can't do. And so it's quite common if you're playing Roger, it's hard not to lose a life at this stage. I want to hurry up here, because there's a bit of a time limit here if I want to get all this stuff. So... Those... Protect that... Those coins... Yeah, I'll leave that, it's too hard to get those strawberries. Oh, come on, man! Oh, dude! Dude! Oh! I've... Don't fall down there! Okay, falling down there, like, I've never really been down there, I just know that you get less coins, and I don't know what to do down there. And it's very common if you're trying to get too many of those chests, you don't get that checkpoint in time, and you, uh, you just die. As soon as your time runs out, you die. When I was practicing this game, the amount of times I died on that checkpoint, because the time... Here's an L. Calm down! I was already pretty calm, Wolf, but... Okay. Actually, I guess I'm not calm. I'm actually shitting my pants. Because this game's a bit tricky, this stage. One of the hardest stages in the game right here. Um, so let's see if we get lucky and that they didn't drop over to us. Okay. So we want to go across the top here. Because if we go across the top, knock down these boulders, go up here, and there's all that. So I already had max health, but still. So, oh, wait. okay, good. Um, okay, so now, down. This is a very tricky boss. Okay, can I time it correct? There we go. You want to get behind the boss. You have to time it just right, and you can get behind him on each cycle. There we go. Wait. Yeah. There we go. It's always so close. Shit! I thought I did it way too early, but I got lucky, I think. Usually he would have just landed on me. Area 4 clear. Bonus 40k. Goes up 10k for each stage, the bonus. 
<laughs> okay, so the sealed room. This is... It's really hard to get the one up in this room without just ending the stage. I'll try. Oh yes, got the one up. That is almost impossible to get with a Roger because of Roger's double jump. But collecting the diamond ends the stage, but if you get the little heart above the diamond, which requires just the right jump arc, you get an extra life. So now there's these tiny little miniature pterodactyl things that give you 500,000, I mean 5,000 point medals, which is pretty hilarious. Here you want the statue to go up so you can get those medals. Whoa! Freaking plants! That arcing of their attack! Damn stink plants. Okay, now, yeah, let's just run across because these beetles bomb you. Now we got abstract pieces of cement flipping in the sky. They hurt you. Okay, now this drop down bit, yes, I did take damage. So here there was actually a route down there which leads to like an almost auto scroller segment. There's a route at the top and there's a route in the middle. I think the route at the bottom might give you a little bit more coins, maybe? But it's very hard not to take damage during it. You usually take like two or three hits. Um, doesn't help that I haven't practiced it. But the middle route here. Oh, something hit me there. The middle route here, we actually get a unique enemy, which I'm not sure if it's anywhere else in the game. It might be at the bottom route or the top route as well. I don't think it's in the top route, but it's an enemy where there's practically only one in the game, and it's right here. This extremely detailed dragon statue. The developers decided, no, we only need one instance of that enemy in the game. Um, and <laughs> let's not make it a mini boss either. And we get the melon there. Oh, by the way, the little, the expression on Wolf's face when he when he's falling, it's pretty amazing. So go up here. I actually want to destroy that. You destroy the platform and you jump back down. You need to get a good secret. Now we've got Halbard wielding um, dinosaur orc dudes. <laughs> More bomber beetles. Luckily, these ones are actually in front of me instead of on top of me, like before, so they can't actually bomb me now. Because Scarab. Okay. can actually kill one of those. Ugh. It's always risky trying to kill them because if you hit their body, it doesn't do as much damage as hitting their head. Oh, dude, got Halbard. Yeah. Oh, trap! I forgot. I thought, uh. I'm still on two health. No miss is still within grasp. By no miss, I mean not losing one life. Uh, wait till he comes up so I can get as many coins as possible. Oh, look at all those coins! Oh man, those coins. It's really fun to play this game to score, even though the scoring stuff just involves killing everything and getting all the secrets. It's just it's so satisfying. Uh, now we have an amazing mid-boss, which is just lava falling or fireballs falling in the sky. Which is fine if you've got axe, you just do this. Get the meat. More abstract cement. It's once again a secret down there. Okay, now now we've got a rush of these little dinosaurs. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not holding down for auto fire because I just want to put two shots into each enemy. And it's very easy to take damage here if you have excess shots on the screen. Now we got the Metamorphosis Dinosaur. See, there was an amazing transformation animation there that most people probably missed. And he does this weird half homing thing. Oh, dude. Getting bad RNG on his patterns there. I think this dude might actually do two hearts if he hits you up here. Big coin, there we go. I like how all the dinosaurs explode. Like they they all explode like a contra game or something. <laughs> okay. So the desert. This stage is quite amazing. <laughs> Mostly because of the boss. Yeah, I don't want to risk jumping over there. Destroy those these little spike balls in the sky. He looks like he wants to say, "Let me help you." I love the friggin' idle animation of these dinosaurs. They're just like dancing. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. The game's just so good. And I'll, I'll destroy these just to play it safe. You also get minimal score. Like technically, you should be destroying all these for score, considering there's no time mode on screen. I can leave This guy... Yeah, just at the right angle. It's really hot. This guy clearly doesn't care about all the battling going on, he's just really hot in the desert. <laughs> now here we have this mid-boss, let's see if I can do it without taking damage. It's a bit tricky because of the RNG on that lava fires, or the fire attack, whatever it is. There we go. Easy peasy. Take him away! Now we've got this dinosaur. Another Stegosaurus, I forget what these dinosaurs are called, but it's Palatop in the first boss. Um, this stuff. Auto Sometimes I forget that I've got the excess shot. Because there's no audio cue for it, so you still just mash and still pop it up. These turtles are the most amazing enemy ever in a video game, much like the Stegosaurus, as they sort of just do a little thing in front of you and not much else. <laughs> I think the Stegosaurus are probably better because the dance looks so hilarious, but these turtles are pretty strong too. And I think there's only two in the game, like these are the only ones. There's a lot of enemies like that in this game, they just appear like once. And there was that rat in stage two I didn't go so you didn't see the karate dinosaur. <laughs> so, right, here we go. The amazing boss of this stage. This cool looking snake dragon thing. Oh, he hit me! I, I was expecting him to do something else, I didn't know it was random. So you sort of just go underneath him, you attack, you go on the far left, and then he'll either lunge at you like what he just did, or he will come down to you. But, I mean, he still managed to get a hit off me, so... I guess I can't call him the easiest boss in the game anymore. <laughs> Even though he is the easiest boss in the game. And he's the boss of stage 6, which is a good, like... What, like, half hour into the game? <laughs> At least if you're doing a slow run like me, because it's funner. Like, well, I just prefer playing this game for score and getting all the secrets. But it is, I don't know, I might speedrun it at some point. We'll see. I forgot to jump on the chests to get those first, so that's 10,000 points in this down on. Um. Oh! 
Oh, you see right there, the game ate my input of the jump. Uh, every, there's, the game's ground is like, like obviously it's like in tiles. And sometimes if you jump, just as you're on the edge of a certain tile it seems, it, it sort of eats your input, and, and, and you don't jump. It's very rare to happen, there's, it's, you, it's like more... Like, um, it, it usually doesn't happen in normal play, there's like, just maybe three or four instances where it can happen like that, like, consistently. So, yeah, that was, that wasn't the game eating my input for the jump. You can definitely consistently do it on stage one where there's the bridge. If you go right to the edge of the bridge tile and you try to jump, it just doesn't let you jump ever. So I don't know the exact mechanics behind that, but... Hey, the game's fun enough that problems like that don't matter. I still like you, Scarab. Scarab, you're a good developer. You made a whole bunch of gambling games after this game. <laughs> Gambling slot machines that were technically illegal in Japan or something. Oh shit, I nearly killed that guy, which I didn't want to do. Okay, so. We want to jump down there. Don't want the sword. <clears throat> Can we get lucky there? Get that. that. Okay, so we want to be at the top so we can get all these. Of coins right here. You see, I'm on four lives, my next extends at 400. So the game is quite generous with lives, although it is quite hard. Um, it's, it's, not, it's not a very easy 1cc, like, it still probably took me. I think when I first started playing this game, it was a bit of. maybe like eight hours? That was me trying to figure everything out to. But the thing is, once you learn it, you can just get through areas without taking damage. Or without taking much damage, or without losing a life. And, oh, dude, if I die on the boulder mini boss, and then you can sort of, it sort of just snowballs, so you get you get good at the game, you don't die on the existing stuff, and then you're, you just have all these excess lives you have nothing to do with. Just, yeah. And here we have a Street Fighter boss, because he firstly does his Bison Slide, and then Dive Kick. Is he gonna do the Bison Slide again? Oh yeah! Dive Kick. He's got another attack, let's see if he does it. Oh, no. No, he- oh. Dude, what is even happening? Okay. I was bouncing on him, usually you don't get stuck bouncing on him like that. Ah! Oh. Oh. What? Just die! Just die! I really want to finish this game without losing one life. I want to get the no miss for once. I've never known this game. So yeah. That boss is really cool. It's like... What is he? He's like a lion? He's like this giant lion. Anyway, we're up to the last stage. The castle. Two bows that I do not want. Yeah, it's like, it's like a Psycho Crusher. Oh! Oh man, but you can duck that. You got it. Oh. Oh. Losing hell. Oh man, one. Okay, got one life there. Okay, now pallet swap with the second boss. And we're gonna have a. Yeah, here we go. Let me help you. So, the bison lion has uh, decided to help me, even though I'm pretty sure he exploded in the previous stage or whatever. So, I want to get started here. He actually does a fair bit of damage. Like, he fully he goes in and starts kicking and punching dudes. He does a fair bit of damage. And he's also a bullet sponge. But he's gonna die soon. He's going to die. Two hammers I don't want. Okay, 
the snake samurais are like Arabian sword wielding snakes. They're just in this section of the game, right after I kill this pterodactyl thing. So there's my last extend now, I'm up to five lives. So yeah. These guys are only in this part of the game. Oh, I almost collected that. I thought that was coins. And now we have a whole bunch of just air slime ball things. Oh, I almost collected that too. I thought these were coins. I guess the coins in the next staircase. Yeah, I forget when you need to destroy these, so I'm just going to play it safe and destroy this here. Forget what mini bosses are. Here we go. So here we got this boss rush. Get his bananas. I want those bananas. I'm pretty sure the next boss is the guy that we can stay in the corner for, but just to play it safe and for extra score, let's take out these bald spikes. Yeah, here we go. We can just hide in the corner. So now we might have the statue, I think? I always forget the lineup during the boss rush. Oh wait, no, I think we got... We got another staircase. Right, here's where we can get a bunch of coins. I've never made it made it to the next extent where you need 500 coins now. I don't know if it's possible, maybe there's a whole bunch of secrets I don't know about, but... Like, I'm pretty sure I know most of the secrets in this game in terms of like the easter eggs and the uh, the secret coin locations. I, I doubt it's possible to get to that 500 but you never know. Okay, these red dudes. And you could see anyone that had a keen eye there, a bunch of the monks from survival. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> the, mon the monks from survival arts just coming out. I think we want to destroy these. Okay. Oh, it's this. I manipulated him wrong there. Oh, no! No, sword! Fuck! That's, this is the worst place to get sword, because the last boss is coming up. Alright, if I can manage to... Oh wait, no, I think there's an axe coming up in the next area. I think I'm good. Except this freaking statue. Come on, dude. If I can kill it, I get all my health back. Oh, no! Oh, shit! Oh! Alright, no... Look! Three health right there. That would have given me my health back. Well, now it's just a... It's, it's no longer a no-miss. But it's still a 1cc and that's the point of the marathon, right? I actually want that arrow. So I think that, yeah, there's an axe here. Quickly get out of the way! That would have been a guaranteed no miss if I did not accidentally pick the, the sword up. 
That was a guaranteed no miss. Like, n no life miss, but whatever. One life, it's still good. We still got four, four lives in the bank here. And you can see I've actually got the weak axe. The weak axe is a lot worse than the upgraded axe. Um. Yeah. It's got shorter range, smaller hitbox, it's weaker. This boss is my problem. Do I get another axe here? Can I get an axe here? Okay, we got the powered up axes. Another guy from Survival Arts. Gustav, beware! Get out of my way! And now he turns into this! See, this is his first form. Oh. Actually, okay, it's looking like I'm gonna... Yeah, th this last boss is the hardest part of the game. Except for maybe Stage 4, or Stage 3. No, Stage 4. Hard stage, there we go. Well, I would have died anyways. <laughs> now I, I just have to kill this boss with three lives, and it could go very bad because now I have I have the weak axes. <sighs> oh, dude! All right. Okay, now he turns into this blue dinosaur who tries to jump on you and is very hard to dodge. You can see when I roll, I'm invincible for a little bit. Ah, oh, there's two, two lives on the fast boss. Very hard with the weak axes. It's hard even with the good axes. But... So even if I didn't die before, I probably would have lost a life here unless I was lucky. I have killed the last boss without dying though. So now he turns into this thing. so hard to read him. You actually get damaged by the debris falling from the sky too, so... This is why I didn't use Roger, because I needed all the lives I could just for safety. With the 1cc for this game. I can't believe I was beaten. And now we've just got the survival arts guy there just, just dancing. And now I put my name in. I'm going to just put in one of my favorite pastimes here. And Roger and Wolf who return to the side of the start. Oh yeah. Um, I got the. Okay, so I got the bad ending. Yeah, that's right. Ever since Roger has been waiting for a rescue ship. This is a hopelessly depressing ending for what's otherwise such an up upbeat game. Uh, so Roger doesn't get a rescue ship. And the ending is him slowly just aging in the corner and his armor is, like, rotting away. <laughs> so... <laughs> so, uh... You, there is a good ending, but it's very strange, the, uh, the ending stuff. Um, oh, by the way, special thanks, Chaki. Chaki is a really cool dude, if that's the same Chaki that I'm thinking of who did the music to a bunch of Super Nintendo games like Rejoice and Trinia. He's like he's a DJ in Japan. <clears throat> and so you just hold on a second here and I'll explain the ending stuff. Best workers, not high scores, best workers. 1,450,000, that's a decent score. Okay, so the deal with the endings 
if I remember right, is that if you pick Roger, if if you pick Roger and you uh, credit feed the game or you use at least one continue, you get the bad ending again, which is that ending. If you use Wolf and you credit feed, you get the good ending. The good ending is Wolf repairing um, Roger's ship and then Roger escapes on the... Uh, he escapes back out to space and Gustav's dead and everyone's happy. Um, so yeah, if you're Wolf and you credit feed, you get the the uh, the good ending. If you're Roger and you credit feed, you get the bad ending. But if you 1cc, it's actually reversed. So I was Wolf and I 1cc'd, so it's reversed. And instead of the good ending, I get the bad ending. Except if you're Roger and you 1cc, you get the good ending. So yeah, it's... I don't know what the developers were thinking there. Like, it should have just been if you won CC, you get the good ending. Otherwise, you get the bad ending with either character. But anyway, that's Dino Gear. It's a really cool game. Um, and yeah, uh, coming up next is The Wonder of Arcade Punch Out by Zalu, I'm pretty sure. So everyone stick around for that. And uh, yep, thanks thanks for watching. Good, good marathon. Uh, Dino Gear. It's pretty, it's real fun and real cool. Not ported, this is arcade only, so... Yep, thanks everyone!